many genes in our body um, are expressed as RNA in different cell types, a skin cell, a bone cell, a brain cell. But in one cell type, the pattern of splicing of the sense pieces together is different than the pattern in another cell type, and that's called alternative splicing. So it's alternative splicing because the splicing pattern in one cell is different than the splicing pattern in another cell, and therefore the proteins in those two cells are different. And that can make uh, a, a great deal of difference because one protein can function spliced in one pattern, in one cell one way, and then another uh, spliced differently in, an, in another way. So you know, if you're designing drugs or you're looking at functionality of mutations, they can differ due to this alternative splicing between different cells. Alternative splicing means that the, the splicing machinery selects certain exons or parts of certain exons um, differently in, in a proportion of the molecules and splices. So uh, it's a way to take a gene and um, from its primary transcript generate two or more mRNAs that, encode, that can encode two or more proteins. The splicing machinery has a choice. It sees this string of exons and it chooses what to join to what. It, it isn't always product A or product B. You could have uh, some proportion of the molecules choose pathway A and the rest choose pathway B. And that is the case with SMN2. If it were to completely skip exon 7, that may be a lethal uh, change in the absence of SMN1. In reality, it makes some full-length protein.